Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you five formulas that are really helpful for astrophotography. Okay, so check this out. 23.9 millimeters by 35.8 millimeters. This is the uh, chip size of my Canon 6D. You can find this measurement in the manual of your, your camera. So let's take 35.8 and split it in half. Each one of these sections is 17.9. Let's cut that in half again. Each one of these sections is 8.95 millimeters. 23.9 and a half gives us 11.95 here, 11.95 here. Cut that in half again, it's around 5.97. So our image of the moon of the 500 millimeter lens is gonna be about this big on a full frame Canon 60. 500 millimeter focal length divided by 109 gives you 4.58 millimeters. See what I've done? So if I used a 2000 millimeter focal length telescope, divide that by 109, that gives me roughly 18. That puts my moon about in this area here. Pretty good framing for a Canon 6D. We're going to use the uh, Canon 6D again as a reference, 23.9 millimeters by 35.8, and we're going to assume a 500 millimeter objective lens. So I take 23.9 divided by 500, and that's in millimeters. Multiply that by 57.3, and I get 2.73 degrees and I take my other dimension of my sensor 35.8 divide that by 500 multiply that answer by 57.3 and I get 4.10 degrees so my field of view is 4.10 by 2.73 degrees I'll check this out. Let's break this up into one degree sections and let's just call this a three. So this being one degree, two degree, three degrees. Let's do the same thing for the uh, the length of the sensor but divide it into fours. You know that the moon is half a degree in size so you figure on it being about this big works out the same way as the first uh, solution I showed you. You see how they, the correlation between the two? This is a great approximation and um, field of view is very important in astrophotography. Okay, this is pretty cut and dry. You might be wondering where this number 50 comes from. On a full frame sensor, 50 millimeter is roughly equivalent to human vision, so it's also the basis for division for figuring a magnification on an object on the sensor. But if you use this formula and you're using a, a crop sensor, the Canon crop sensor accounts for 1.6 times. So take your focal length times 1.6, in this case the 500, you end up with 800 millimeters. Divide that number by 50 and you get a magnification of 16. Okay, for this solution, we're trying to determine the arc seconds per pixel of data. And as a general rule, 
25 arc seconds per pixel is good and you don't want to exceed uh, one in most cases start out with a number 206.265 and again we'll use the 500 millimeter focal length as the reference and that gives you 0.41 and you take that number 0.41 multiplied by the microns of your camera um, there's a rating you might find it in the uh, specifications in your user manual if you don't then you can look it up for the Canon 6D that number is 6.5 microns so multiply the 0.41 by 6.5 microns and I get approximately 2.68 which is not the ideal arc seconds per pixel for this camera sensor now let's see what happens if I take this same number 206, 265 divide by 2000 that gives me 0.1031 or just 0.1 whatever I take that number multiply by 6.5 and that equals 0.67 and this number is below 1 and fairly close to 0.25 which is ideal on a, a, a night of good seeing so to get optimal resolution I'm going to be somewhere around a 2000 millimeter focal length using a Canon 6D and Prime this gets a little tricky but just know that 60 minutes of arc is equal to one degree just keep that in mind okay back to the sensor size of the Canon 6D 23.9 millimeters by 35.8 multiply each of those numbers by 3438 divide the result by the focal length of the instrument you're using. I'm using the 500 millimeter as an example again. And I get 164.33 by 246.16. Now imagine if you will, a three millimeter by four millimeter sensor in a webcam dedicated for planetary. And you'll easily see the advantage that this has as I explain it. So, 4 millimeters times 3,438, 3 millimeters by 3,438, the results of both divided by 500, 27.5 by 20.6. Let me get this paper out here and show you something interesting. This is the size of the planets in seconds of arc. Mercury's 4.5 to 13 even Jupiter at 50.1 look at these numbers again figure a, a Barlow into this system you get a lot closer to uh, these numbers here and that's how you're gonna work out your field of view and minutes of arc it's a little difficult at first but uh, if you run your numbers through it and you look at at these numbers here you'll quickly see why a smaller image sensor is better for planetary.